Hello viewers, this is Shriram from the boardroom. Today we learn to play Welcome to a roll and write game designed by Benoit Turpin and released by Blue Cocker Games. The game can be played by 1 to 100 players. Welcome to is technically a flip and write game where you play as an architect developing housing estates across three different streets. Each player gets a scoring sheet, a pencil and a play rate. These are the plan cards that are drawn from three different decks and are kept the project side up. These are the construction cards that are split into three equal stacks with their house number side up. And that's the setup. At the beginning of a turn, you flip the top card from each construction stack and place them next to it with the effect side up. Each player chooses one of the three combinations a house number and a corresponding effect. The player's turn is simultaneous and multiple players can choose the same combination. For example, I choose this combination with a 10 and a park. The house number must be written in any empty house plot. This means the house is developed. The only rule is the numbers in a street must be in strictly ascending order. This rule can be overridden by an effect which I will explain later. That makes writing the 10 here rather than here a better choice. You can leave any number of empty plots between your houses as far as they obey the ascending order rule. For example, if you have a 5 here and you are writing a 9 here, you can write only the numbers between 5 and 9 in these empty plots. If you are not able to write the number by these development rules, then you must strike the topmost space in this building permit refusal section. Once you successfully develop a plot, you are allowed to apply the optional effect from your chosen combination. There are six different effects. The park allows you to strike the leftmost space in the park section of the street in which you have developed a house. In this case, since I have written a 10 here, I must strike this space in the park section. If you choose the combination with a pool effect and if you write the number in a house plot where there is a pool planned, then you have constructed the pool. Say for example, if you choose to write the 11 with a pool effect in this plot, then you can construct a, construct a pool here. Then you strike the least numbered space in the pool section. The temp agency allows you to add or subtract one or two to the number you are writing. If you use this effect, you can check a box in this temp area. The surveyor effect allows you to construct a fence between two houses in a street. You can construct a fence anywhere in any street irrespective of where you have developed the house. So you can write a 10 here and you can construct the fence over here. The fences act as a delimiter to a housing estate. A completed housing estate is a row of 1 to 6 plots between two fences fully developed. There are pre-built fences on either side of the street. The real estate agent effect increases the value of the completed housing estates. You strike the topmost space of any column of your choice in this area. The BIS effect allows you to duplicate any house number in any street. The BIS house must be written adjacent to the house you are duplicating and no fences are allowed in between them. You write BIS along with the number to indicate this. For example, if I choose this combination with a BIS, I write a 6 in this street and I can choose to duplicate 11 in this street. So I write 11 along with BIS in the adjacent plot. Then I will strike the least number in the BIS section. The city plans are the common goals the players are raising to achieve. The goal is to complete certain number of housing estates with mandated sizes. The first players to meet this goal in the same turn earns the points in the project side of the card and then flips it over. So if you achieve this, you write an 8 here and then flip it. Every other player meeting the goal in future turns will earn the indicated lower points. The estates that are used to score the city cannot be subdivided thereafter. The first player who reaches a goal may choose to shuffle the construction 
cards and make three new stacks. Once everyone is done with their turn, a new set of cards are flipped and the game continues in the same fashion. The game ends when any one of the following conditions are met. When a player strikes the third building permit refusal or when a player achieves all the three plans or when a player develops all the houses in the three streets. The parks are scored based on the least unchecked space from each street. Similarly, the pools are also scored based on the least unchecked space in the section. The completed housing estates are scored based on their sizes according to the least unchecked value in the respective column. For example, each completed housing estate of size 4 will score 5 in this case. The players who have filled the most temp squares earn 7 points. The next set of players score 4 points and the third set of players score one point each. Then you subtract the scores from the BIS column and the permit refusal column. The player with the most points wins. In case of a tie, the player with most completed estates win. If tied again, the player with the most size 1 estate wins, then size 2 and so on. That was welcome to have fun playing the game. Thanks for joining us. Like, share and subscribe for more videos from us. Thank you. Goodbye.